Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another vlog. Today is going to be awesome and I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing while watching this that you're feeling awesome and you've had a great day or are having a great day, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. Um, and right now I am at Gymkhana at Tsukuba Circuit, which is their big skid pan and it's perfect for setting cones out and doing an intense training day. That's exactly what today is. Okachan from Yashio Factory is running an intense training day. I've brought up another friend who's come in from Australia. He flew in yesterday. Uh, it's Ben. You've probably seen him at the previous Australia Matsuri videos. He's over there. And um, today I've managed to help him organize to be able to drive one of Okachan's cars and rent it out for the day, which is going to be awesome. So yeah, we're just really excited about drifting together over here in Japan, which is sick. And uh, just in general, I'm really excited about loading. Anyways, enough talking, let's get into this day. Okay, so this first session is all about people practicing their entry, so we're not connecting corners or anything yet. We're just all practicing handbrake entries, getting all of that right. So my session's over and Okachan's in the passenger seat with Ben and Ben's soon doing a few laps in the Yasuo factory car. You get the hang of it and he is killing it. Oh my god, <laughs> the tandem just happened. I don't know if I've said this yet, but Ben, he's actually an instructor for initiate car control and he runs the simulators a whole bunch of drifting simulators where people go and get like more seat time to learn how to drift so it's no surprise to me that he picked up driving this car so easily he's killing it oh no <laughs> Happy birthday to me Time to concentrate, I just sung my wife happy birthday while drifting because it's her birthday and I'll post that on her Facebook timeline in a second after this. Now to focus on training mode. That's what I wanted. A little bit more throttle control there. And a bit of foot braking. Foot braking is important. This is going to be so good. So much seat time just practicing basic stuff. So if you didn't see in the previous video, I lost two of my gauges just from the G-forces and it falling off and yeah. The double-sided sticky pads weren't enough to hold it onto the dash, so I'll probably screw the other two up here later. So 
So one thing I want to say is the front mount intercooler has made actually a huge difference to how my car handles with the power band and where it is now. Uh, on the track, I am not having issues with heat soak and this is a skid pan, so I'm not getting lots of airflow. It's a lot of go, bit of airflow, then stop and then go again, right? So I'm not getting heaps of airflow, yet the car is performing amazing. I'm not hitting that heat soak barrier like I would before and feeling that power loss. So this is actually awesome. It's such a good upgrade. Another thing I wanted to add was that this car, I haven't upgraded the um, radiator. It's still got a stock clutch fan and um, I haven't put an oil cooler on this yet. And I'm seeing temperatures averaging at 80 degrees while drifting and banging on this thing nonstop for water temps. And my oil temp only peaks to around 95 degrees. So I have to say, this is a super reliable drift car setup right now. was behind me oh my gosh nervous and just kept going wide because I saw Rokacha and then he just took me, overtook me. That was awesome. Oh, Rokacha's gone out for a bit. Oh, he didn't spin out. He just had to slow down because Benny was lost some speed. Let him go first. He wants to follow me, okay. Alright. No! Alright, so got the car cooling down now. We're about to head in for lunch and I wanted to give you guys a quick walk around and show you the damage from Okachan hitting me. So I hit my bumper here, some damage there. And then if we come down here, you can see where his tires hit into my door here. Uh, there's a bit of paint coming off and whatnot. Bit of a uh, bit of damage there in the seal, but that's okay, it's a tiny little bit that'll bang out and pull out. A little bit more damage here. I'm probably not gonna fix it at first. I'm uh Probably just gonna make Okachan sign it and put one of these uh, Okachan dragon stickers there. I think it'll be kind of cool, like a little bit of rep or something for tandeming with him. But anyways, uh, man, I'm so excited. Started tandeming and all that. Ben's having an absolute blast. guys so we have now finished lunch some people already out on track i just finished changing my tires i'm about to head out and get some more practice in at 2 p.m we have a uh, competition that aqua is getting us to do got one practice uh lap and then after that we got three qualifying laps and then he's going to pick the best out of all of them and grade us all and i don't know if there's going to be a prize or something but how cool is that anyways uh i'm gonna get back into the driving practice keep going um yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just so excited because I'm doing so well. Just hit the guardrail. Dang it. 
Luckily, it was just a kiss. I hope it's not too bad, because if it's bad, I gotta pay for the guardrail. All right, guys, so let's take a quick look at this damage I just did. I hit the guardrail and uh, pushed in my uh, rear, I don't know, fender or rear guards, whatever you call them. So I've pushed that in here a fair bit. I've damaged the fiberglass rear bumper. Um, <laughs> compared to the other side, look how nice and straight that is. And you look at this side and you can see that obviously I pushed that in. Honestly, I'm not actually too upset. I mean, it's a bit of a shame that I've damaged this whole side today, drifting, but I'm honestly not that upset. Um, it just means a little bit more work. I'm gonna have to pump this out, try and pump out the door, fix that a bit and clean it all up. I'll fix it the best I can and we'll see if we can still get it wrapped, but I'm not fussed. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a daily drifter. These things are meant to happen. That's what you sign up for when you get into drifting. So the best thing you can do about it when these things happen is try to keep a good attitude and uh, not let it bring you down. But I do want to show you the guardrail that I damaged. Um, it's not too badly damaged, so they may not even charge us for it. Uh, but if they do, it'll be like 100 to $300. So it's not too bad. guys so i'm starting to pack up the car now and uh man today was so much fun there's still some people running out there and practicing but i learned so much not just controlling my car and fixing my lines and stuff like that but i also learned some i guess important life lessons when you get confident and you start getting good at something don't just all of a sudden get overconfident if you know what i mean it's a super basic thing we hear it all the time you know you get overconfident and you make another mistake or you make a big mistake right and that's kind of what I did today. I got super confident. I was doing really well. I kind of started wanting to start showing off. And um, my rear quarter and uh, rear bumper now knows exactly um, what overconfidence looks like. I uh, smashed into the guardrail. And then obviously as well, like I made another mistake when uh, Okachan was tandeming and following me. Um, when I uh, lost all speed and stopped, I just sat there and waited for him to hit me. I should have jumped on the accelerator and gotten out of there. But uh, you know, I'm still learning, so that's okay. But uh, one thing that just actually happened while I was coming in after the last run, my number plate fell off the back. So when uh, I hit the quarter, the rear quarter, it pushed my bumper sideways and just ripped this right off the hinges. So I'll have to fix that when I get home. Hopefully I don't get pulled over by the police on the way home. But anyways, I'm gonna finish now packing this up. Hopefully there's enough space on the memory card to get me home so I can save it all and then we'll continue the vlog when we hang out with May for her birthday tonight. Well guys, if you're ever at Jim Connor at Tsukubo and you see these red marks, that's my mark here. This is Serena-san and she's Yahoo. 22 years old. She's Hello. got that white 180 over there. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> she's been drifting for one year and she's been get, getting some coaching today from Okachan and doing really well. And there goes Okachan with his car. Ben's just finishing packing up his helmet and the GoPros and stuff and then we're heading as well. Better hurry up, man. We got a we got a birthday dinner to make happen out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not out of nowhere. I always plan to do it, but May's just like, no, no, no. But I'm like, come on, it's your birthday. It's your birthday, man. You got to do something. You gotta do something. Exactly. I'm not gonna let her get away without a dinner. All right, guys. So time warping ahead. We're now home, and I'm already in like some comfy home clothes. Ben is as well. May's here. We were planning to go out. Well, I was planning to take May out to a really nice dinner but uh, she insisted that all she wanted to do was stay at home, order pizza and play PUBG. I love you, Ben. I love you, Ben, ruining my vlogs. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the night. Um, but um, once we've finished uh, 
celebrating May's birthday after that, I'll talk to you guys and we'll do a recap of everything that's happened today. Japanese pizza's amazing. All right, guys. So while everyone else is downstairs still playing PUBG, I figured I'd come up here, chat to you guys, and let's just do a recap of today. Uh, this may be a little bit long, but I promise you, if you stick with it and watch all of everything that I'm about to say, you're going to love it and just learn from it. So it's going to be great. Um, but anyways, let's try and go through everything quickly. First thing I want to talk about is today. It was absolutely awesome. Hands down, the best event I've ever been to just because I learned so much in just such a short period of time. I drifted for probably about, I was in the seat for like three and a half hours total today, which is just incredible. Such good, valuable like time. <laughs> Um, and then uh, just in general, like Ben coming from Australia, um, I helped um, him organize to be able to rent one of Okachan's cars. Um, and he drove that and out of every car that he owns, which is he's got a 180 with an RV swap. He's got a Sil, um, uh, Estadin Silvia with an RV swap as well. Uh, both set up completely different than the 180, obviously. And then he's got a 350Z with a HKS supercharger bolted on. And then every other car that he's driven, he has never driven a car that handled as good as this and he had never experienced the way that this car was set up, how soft the spring rates and the coilovers and everything were. So it was really good. And that kind of lines up with everything where so many people come from Western areas of the world where they just get told that they need to make their car stiff, you know, hard coilovers and suspension and make the car stiff and rigid all over and then you're able to slide well and that's how your car is supposed to be set up for drift. It's actually a common myth and a really big mistake that everyone makes and it's preventing you from being a really good driver. So, um, you know, for him to come from Australia like that, jump in a car and how it's set up, soft spring rates and coilovers and things like that, it just blew him away. He said, hands down, best car I've ever driven and just the way it was balanced and everything, he just, he won't shut up about it. It's actually really annoying. He just won't stop talking about how good the car felt. Um, so that was really kind of cool because it lined up with everything that, that you know, I've suspected for a long time. or well, not suspected, we've known that, I think. And there's a lot of articles online about this, actually, where people from America and stuff, pro drifters have come to Japan, spent some time doing some training here, and then, you know, gone back and completely pulled their car apart and reset up everything. So, um, yeah, I think if, if you're wanting to get into drifting, don't do any of that junk on the internet where everyone tells you to make everything stiff. That's actually the wrong way to do it. Do some proper research and ask the right people. Um, now, moving on, let's get to uh, my doozies with my car. Like, uh, I damaged my car a fair bit today. Um, and how do I feel about that? I feel awesome, actually. I feel really good about it. I feel great that there's now massive dings in my car. And I think the reason for that is because I look at them and I go, you know what, for me to have those there means that I have improved so much. I look at them and that's progress marks for me. It's like, you know, when you're growing up and your dad or your mom gets you to start measuring how tall you're getting and you start to see the progress as you get older. And that, that's what it looks like to me. And especially drifting, this is what you sign up for. You know, your cars are gonna get damaged. And if you don't understand that, then it's gonna really prevent you from being a good driver. Because if you're constantly worrying about damaging your car, you're only ever gonna drive at like 70% because that other 30% you're trying to make sure that you don't smash into anything. And you need to not even think about that when you're driving. So when I look at those marks, I think it adds character. I think it's just a sign of me getting better. I'm not too fussed about them. Yeah, I'll probably, I will get them repaired eventually. Right now, it's not a priority. Um, it does mean that the wrap's now gonna get pushed back further. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. I'm all right with that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? You know what? Uh, channel name change. The channel name will be changing. It's going to change to Samit, which is my nickname. Reason for that is this channel is not just about drifting. This channel is not just about cars. This channel is not just about me living in Japan. This channel is not just about um, vlogs. It's also about cinematic production videos that I want to put out and things like that. It's about my life. And I think the best name for the channel is to call it me essentially which is Samit and you know it, it this channel's never always going to be about one thing so I can't just give it a name that just is like Japan drifting or Japan Samit drifting or something like that because then I'm limiting the content that I should be putting on this channel and I don't want that this channel is all about my life what I get up to the things that I want to share with you and the things that I learn from and do wrong and do right that I can share with you so you guys can learn along with me as we do life together is what I'm trying to say and I mean, you know, the future is looking awesome because I mean, obviously I'm married and I'm fairly young, I'm 28 years old. And uh, you know, me and May, we're gonna start looking at probably having kids by the end of this year, which is a little bit scary, but also super exciting. Um, and I get to share that with you guys as well. You know, the whole process of, you know, being a young family and 
getting kids into drifting. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm at the five minute mark now, so I've been talking for ages. But guys, that's everything I wanted to say. I hope you really enjoyed this. Thanks heaps for sticking around and listening to me yapping away. And um, tomorrow's gonna be insane. Full day at Tokyo Auto Salon and then uh, IWB party at night. So uh, I need to get some rest and I'm knackered. I'm so wrecked. But uh, yeah, thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao, matane. Come on.